All right, we saw the bl the yeah the blue team. Now it's time for the orange team. Drill Team Orange. All righty. So we didn't get to uh, start at the very beginning, so let's just work from here. And we'll work with a still image. So we'll, you can see slight bend in the wrist here. Straight, straight, slight bend in the wrist. It looks like, now it's a different angle there. Um, cupped hand and the back of the hand is, is showing more to the front. So consistency is, is definitely what we need. And there's a variation of technique here, so we don't want that. Feet also. Uh, looks like she has closed feet, closed toes. Uh, might be close together. Everybody else's feet look pretty good. These two maybe guide on bear as well. I don't know exactly. Alrighty. So there is no such thing as a ten hut. It's a ten shun. Um, now, all of the services at one time or another said ten hut. Whether it was just ten hut or a ten hut is immaterial. We all said it. Uh, but that's not the the case anymore. It's um, a ten shun is the the command. So while we're uh, while that's happening, uh, I'm gonna get sick. Stop moving. All right, so look at the, there's also variation of technique here with the feet. Look at the, the, the distance here with the feet. Between the heels, if you're going to go with the Marine Corps. Standard. All righty. Oh, and Commander, gravelly voice. That's, that's a gravelly voice. Group? Platoon? And you too, Commander. Right. It's right. And actually, I probably did that when uh, I was first in, in JROTC. So um, it, it might be a, a typical cadet, you know, type explorer thing. Uh, but it's, it's right face, left face. And you want clarity. You, you need to be clear. None of the gravel. I want to watch feet. Yeah, some bent leg technique there. And so whoever's holding the camera, uh, thanks. <clears throat> anyway, um, I can't, I'm, I'm really trying to concentrate on the, on the legs and I just can't do it because of the, the constant moving. So, uh, um, like I explained for the uh, the blue drill team, then uh, you you've got to have that that C movement, and you can watch the other video and get that explanation. Oh, and uh, guide on bear, 
guide on. You're you're reaching up to your shoulder and then pushing the staff even pushing your hand up to your ear practically it, it looks like so watch the other video for proper guide on technique so uh, I can't tell if you're saying group or or maybe even platoon really quickly or something that like that but on on a sidestep you're going to say platoon and pla is on the step away. Platoon. Halt, step, close. That's that's the way it goes. If you're going for Marine Corps technique, and from what I gather from all of this in your in your your sequences here, I'm it looks like you're sticking with the Marine Corps order. However, where where half right and left face came from I guess we'll never know. And where this came from, we'll never know either. Or maybe we will. Because this definitely is... If you, uh, guide on bear, if you could take just a little bit bigger step, uh, the one step to get into position, then uh, squad leaders, you're too close. So squad leaders, and this is this goes for the other squad or the other uh, team as well. If you, when you fall in, you're supposed to do this visually, just like when the guide on uh, uh, visually establishes the, the, the positioning from the, from the commander. Um, you're supposed to do this visually, but you can you can lift you can raise your arm up and put put an arm's length and six inches gap in between uh, the 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 back of the the individual in this case first squad leader uh, in in front of you when you first fall in, and then you can develop that visual memory, and you can check any time you want informally. You know, as you're as you're falling in, you need to establish that visual memory because as soon as you execute that right face, you guys are already too close together. Which means that uh, you don't have enough room to uh, to march if you go if you go to either flank, and then commander, uh, you know, watch the other video. You're supposed to fall, to face your your platoon. And feet are lifted too high, and the the half step is not uh, not long enough, 15 inches, heel to heel. And see now, see how, see how, first squad leader moved back just slightly to get. Look at that, to get better uh, distance. So you already have the visual memory when you're marching like this, but then you, you have different visual memory as soon as you're going to go to your left flank. Don't back up, Commander. You, you should be... Let me see here. There we go. Well, let me back up just a bit. There we go. Yeah, not forward. It's left flank march. Yeah, you're you're supposed to be three steps away uh, while you're calling the commands while they're moving, but. You you shouldn't have to back up.
is that happening? Okay, l I'll tell you what. Instead of you watching the, the top of my head, let me, uh, I'm going to pause here. And then I'm going to watch this over and over and over again. Try and figure this out. I got it. The team's moving over. I'll show you. Took me a couple minutes, but watch. Okay, so now, where this foot is of first squad leader, we're going to draw a straight line, which is going to be about like this. Okay? Right like this. This is the, the, the direction that the uh, uh, first squad leader here should be taking. Okay? But watch. Step. Stepping over. Stepping over. They're moving over to the left. After the first step forward with the left foot, first maybe two steps, two or three steps forward, all of a sudden, instead of stepping like this, they're stepping like this. There's a, they're, they're coming over about, well, I don't know. Anyway, Commander, that's why you're backing up. That's why you're having to back up. So as you call... Um, column left march you sh no sorry column left sorry marine corps commands that kind of screw with my mind just a bit so column left march you should close your feet and mark time right here and then pivot and step off when your center comes into uh, into view but you're having to back up because the whole team is moving over to the left. So stop it, team. Now, with the guide on, <clears throat> uh, the guide on was taken care of uh, quite well with the other team. Um, I'm and I never mentioned it in the other video, and I probably should have. I I, I thought of it, but I'll, I'll mention it here. So. When the guide on and the, the the squad leaders move, they're all out of alignment. And then the, the guide on executes a, a flanking movement over and then gets back in front. Whichever column movement you do, it, it, the, the guide on is either over here and has to come back over or is over here and has to come back over. So either way, that's fine. Um, it's It can be just a, a couple of steps or or it, uh, it might be a little more. Hopefully it's just around a couple of steps. You, you, you uh, execute an oblique, march a couple of steps, another oblique, and you're fine. But the, the, the base squad leader, in this case second squad leader, has uh, the, the responsibility of saying left, right, steady. Uh, either one uh, for left, left, steady, or right, right, right steady now this is obviously when you're when you're executing movements this quickly uh, you don't have time to to have say right keep going right 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 steady okay now you're aligned so we want the 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 base squad leader to get the the guide back in line uh, yep we're going to follow the guide on bearer however the guide on bearer just because the guide on bearer is is right here or here let's I'll use my head uh, I'm the I'm the base squad leader so just because the the guide on bearer ends up here after that that after moving over after the the column movement just because they end up here doesn't mean that I have to shift the entire platoon over just to be behind the guide on that's not the point the point is the guide on needs to be in front of the base squad and then continue on so uh, that's really interesting. I've never had that uh, that issue before, so that was pretty pretty wild to watch. All right, so that's what's happening. Nope, that's going to be right flank march. And just like with the other team. Only forward march is for the obliques. We're marching straight ahead. And it's 
So oblique is the proper pronunciation. That's proper English to say oblique. Um, however, in the military, we say oblique. I have no idea why it's different. I, I really don't. I looked it up. I tried to find it, but I have no idea. So the command is going to be right oblique or left oblique march. Um, you're waiting too long to, to uh, call that command. It's, it, even though Marine Corps commands are you know by the right flank, it's, it's very long and takes multiple feet. Even to the rear it takes multiple feet, whereas Air Force uses to the rear and they call it on two steps. Marines just need longer to, to understand the command, I guess. All righty. So, at, at least for the forward, it has to be on two consecutive right steps mm -hmm. in this case. Two consecutive left steps, so you can execute that pivot when you're at the right oblique. So, don't lean back. Whoever's leaning back, don't do it. I can... Too many steps in between. Forward march. You're you're trying to to use multiple feet for forward, and you don't have to. It's forward march. If you really wanted to break it down into syllables, forward march go. But that's not the way it's called, so you don't have to do that. Good. Oh, almost. That was so close. That was really good. I liked that. I liked that a lot. You know what would be interesting? Just throwing it out there is when you march backwards, march on your outside foot first. So your outside foot, if you're on the left, your outside foot is left. If you're on the right, your right, your outside foot is right. So as you march back, you could pivot on your outside foot and march forward. It would be really strange, really weird looking, but it would be so cool looking. And I don't have, I'm not going to take the time to explain the whole thing of, of, of my idea. Uh, Dan, if you want to know more, then I, I can write it down for you. But I think that'd be really cool. But then you'd be out of step. You'd be marching, you know, um, everybody on the left, their their right foot would, would be going forward and everybody on the right, their their left foot would be going forward. So you'd be marching like this, outside foot, inside foot, outside foot, which actually could work uh, for something else too. So, I mean, it would be odd and it, yeah, you'd, it'd take a lot of getting used to. Um, Okay, yeah, it kind of worked. I like it though. I it, it wasn't too it wasn't bad. So Yeah, I see you're going around the the guide on. Okay. So if you're going to do that, don't pivot just march around. No pivoting. I see. So you're flanking around uh, when uh, you don't have to. You could... Um, my The wheels are turning in my mind, but...
Try not to adjust, Commander. Ah, there's the drone. <laughs> so... Not bad, team. Not bad at all. I, I like the, uh, the inclusion of the exhibition drill in there. That was some, uh, uh, some unique movement. I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, watch the other videos for, for what's, going, uh, uh, what's going on with them because there's several things that apply to you as well. Um, but I, I do appreciate this. I, I really do. I like, uh, I like learning from explorers, and hopefully I'm giving you uh, something as well. All right. Thank you.